Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show to you a little bit about how to make uh, views and how to control views and there are different types and functions inside Revit uh, This video is the 16th part of Unit 5 and uh, it's uh, basically uh, aims to show you the detail uh, in managing a view in your drawing So as you can see after the previous view video that I did and I added rooms um, actually the view will be or the document will be like a more uh, a crowdy and have a lots of dimensions and lots of furniture and lots of uh, 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 room tags to be overlapped and touching uh, you know uh, and cutting actually the the elements above each other which is cause my uh, some distortion and unrequired effect when you print plus it's a little bit harder to be you know to be seen and I, I didn't add uh, a, a, a serious details here for example for the dimension I didn't add the correct uh, you know uh, furniture I just add just like a like a, this small details of uh, rough sketches uh, rough sorry rough furniture it's not really accurate and if I want to go details everything it's gonna be really crowdy so one of the things that actually lots of offices or companies ask uh, for uh, any architect to be done is to separate those things all the architecture I mean, to be separated in a different document so the first thing to be done of course is right to click here and duplicate the view so when I uh, duplicate the view with detailing it's gonna keep of course all the dimensions for, uh, sorry if just to duplicate it it's gonna get uh, uh, rid of all the dimension in the new view let's let's try that see just let's just like this exactly and if I just did right to click here and I duplicate with detail it's gonna keep everything as you know as it is uh, but doesn't have any relationship to the original document and I think the third option uh, it's gonna be a dependent so whatever you change in the first one will affect uh, the changes in the, in the second one. It's like, uh, like making references and, uh, and affecting the original document, original view with the, the next copied view of it. So anyway, I'm not going to go detail in this one, so this one or this one in our case for today. So duplicating just the, the model architectural model element, no annotation, while this guy, as the name said, it's going to duplicate with details. So uh, that's what we have. So we have a copy here like this and we have a copy here like this one and uh, in, in I'll keep this guy here and uh, this one in, in reality it's a, uh, it's just you keep in it the documents without uh, the, the furniture for example uh, usually lo lots of uh, lots of uh, offices Actually, or a lot of company they don't don't show uh, the uh, the furniture and all the documents except those going to the client or those going for uh, suggesting to be developed developed by the interior designer. And usually we hide them. So uh, you can just go ahead and right click on it and uh, hide in a view. And instead of hiding the element, you can hide the entire category. And you can do that the same thing by pressing on V V. And going here to furniture and, and turn them off. Uh, anyway, so that's the first step is you know to get rid of all furniture. And now we have just the room number and the dimension to be kept in, in this uh, document. Uh, this is actually makes sense because you need to probably you need to have a look at you know the <clears throat> the dimension are more architectural and construction information uh, rather than caring about what to put furniture especially in the earlier phases of design or building this kind of document uh, you can go ahead and probably you can go edit type and you say I don't want the number to be shown and you can turn off that and it's gonna get a little a better actually uh, tags in here and uh, as you can see it was taking a really serious big uh, space so this might be you know less uh, less crowded for us and that's what we want actually as you can see here okay so probably in the next document I can go and I can go here and that's good because it's already you know uh, it's already the, the, the dimension has been off for me 
So I'll just delete that in case if you didn't do the same steps or you have this one as as it was before. So uh, again, what what I need to be done is what I need to, to do actually is as simple as that. I can go ahead and select the dimension on right click, and again element and hide entire things in the category like that. And in this case, I will keep only the levels, room numbers, and the furniture. And that I will call even probably right to click and rename that. We can rename that as ground floor and furniture. Usually, you're going to end up by having three documents for the ground floor one for the floor itself by itself, which reflect the dimension and more architecture construction and detail for the architectural fenestration which is doors and windows and everything the second one is ground floor for furniture and it actually shows it actually goes more to the client and it have just the furniture itself levels and room name and the last one is the ground floor uh, ceiling plan or the reflected ceiling plan which is a document that uh, actually cut in the same level of the ground floor and it actually shows whatever happening in the ceiling or in the roof and yes it might need lots of dimension which is I didn't do in this case so back to the furniture you might again go to VV and uh, you know you can go ahead and add uh, let's just change the wall you know a cut and then you go here to the override. I would say no override, so override to the solid fill with a color of black here. Also, that might be useful for you, you know, when you uh, present your work. It's, it's a good idea to, to color that black. Uh, even if it's nicer when you print, it's again, it's for the client himself. Probably we don't need that in the detail. We need to see the layers here, it's been made. Uh, for each wall while in uh, you know in the architecture presentation probably will be uh, a good idea to be done and in it you know, on this type you can uh, you know here use this create a view template uh, I'll just name it and yeah I'll just say okay and then I can go to level one maybe and then right to click and use that apply template and I can use this one black cut that I just did and hit apply and you know the black cut uh, template that I made is just make the wall cut and black so uh, I don't need to go and do the same setting it's also gonna remove the dimension it's also you know gonna keep the level it's gonna just save whatever setting you've done here in the view and copy that into here so try to get used to use this the create view template here the creating view template is really powerful and it save everything you've done in the view like adding dimension scale dimension canceling a specific architectural element that's all can be saved the cut off the uh, is, is the is the uh, override cut and what type and what color it is and then save that as a specific template and then you can load it into any other view or views uh, with one click which is really save time when you walk so back to this guy that's a that's a little bit of you know dealing uh, more information about dealing with the views the last thing which I see lots of you know architects you know uh, suffer about is when we have another architectural element like a window which is a small one and it isn't located in uh, the same height as the rest of the cut levels like the windows so if I get go to this one which is a 400 by 600 it's a very small window and I will assume that uh, there is a partition here and there's a window it's just an assumption and when you click that it's gonna cut it and why because you know it's been placed uh, correctly with a level that cuts less the same as those but if you go to the sill height which is the level of this the lower edge of this window from the floor finish and you make it like 1600 like you are trying to make this a bathroom here let's say listen go here and have a partition here anything like something quickly like that oops Uh, 
anything, just to say that this there is a partition here. I know there is a room. Uh oh, yeah, I made a mess. Okay, just just an indication. Okay, it's it's not correct that the organization. I need to reorganize the room here again. But that's my window. Yes, you cannot see it. So that's the case. And uh, you remember, I'm just doing selection cut box here. So I'm just gonna remove that. back to my building so look that's what that's what we added a window that is actually in a higher level than the rest because there's a bathroom here so you, you should you should cover that part and make the cell height high to provide privacy that you want uh, for the occupant of this bathroom which let's 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 make this object difference from this window because the cut line is basically here at some about 1.2 from the floor finishing it isn't cutting you know the object so logically it shouldn't seeing it that's one of the most annoying issue you deal with you know viewing so in order to fix this basically you go to view and from view you can go to plan view and have this this guy a plan region just draw a plan region here or you can draw it uh, as a rectangle I don't know why I use line you can just use this rectangle, you know, this one, sorry, or any other shape, I mean. Basically, I use rectangle. And make sure that it's a closed, uh, it's a closed geometry, as I did in here, and finish that. Actually, before you finish, I'll just go edit, and you see this, 12,000, uh, sorry, 1,200. I'll make it like 170, no, 170. Seven zero zero. It's one thousand and seven hundred, and hit apply and hit OK. Now problem solved because now the cut plane for this guy only will override this only in this area, which can allow us to see this window as it is now. Probably you might hate that dashed thing. Just element eh element hide or right click on it and hit element uh, hide element. So now we solved or we dealt with the sum of details that we need to understand which is uh, uh, one of them one well, actually one of the most annoying which is adding uh, an element that have a different height and now we create a specific view for it so we can see it only by itself the last thing actually is to deal with callouts and I'm gonna run quickly with callouts but sometime I need to make an enlargement for the kitchen or for the bed usually for the for the kitchen and bathroom so easily uh, I can go ahead and you know like do this and by doing that I actually or uh, Revit actually created a callout which is a specific small view for this element now it's, I think it's one one to one hundred and when I go to this callout I can uh, you know I can see the document the same model here callout and it's the same model and uh, now I can change the scale into whatever I want and then add dimension to detail anything I want in it without disturbing the the whole thing and I think I need to change uh, you know the, the visibility thing because it, it's been turned off as a dimension if you remember so if I undo another undo here and I go here probably better and then I you know go to call out see there is dimension too because I copy the setting of this guy instead of this guy this is more presentation as we said and see the scale it's 1 to 50 and for this look, look if I change the scale everything will change you know accordingly even the type of the even the hatch itself so that's useful because you might need to do this for more detailed documentation for everything inside that and at the same time it's still connected to this guy you know to the main document so if I push that up like this you know I know it's okay it's messed up the room and I go to the call out see it's also reflect back that to it which is really cool and really useful to make a different a detailed document for just a specific part of the building 
and that's basically uh, it about uh, you know uh, call out and uh, I wish that you might find that uh, use this tutorial useful for you thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye